For this demo, we're going to be sh uh, showing you how to create UVs in ZBrush. It's actually quite simple, but there's a couple tricks you need to know. Um, first, find the piece that you want um, to UV. For me, I'm doing the, um, the chest piece, and I'm going to just divide, make one subdivision level, which will smooth out that chest piece, and I'm going to delete uh, the lower subdivision levels. So I just have one division level and a nice smooth piece. Then I'm going to open up Z plugin and go to the UV master. A couple options turning on symmetry because this piece is symmetrical. Turning on poly groups is also important. And then the most important thing is to click on work on clone. And what that's going to do is allow me to uh, UV or unwrap um, a clone of the model and then transfer those UVs to the original model. Basically there used to be a bug in the original earlier versions of ZBrush where when you unwrapped your UVs you couldn't un undo that. So this workaround has kind of been built into their workflow process. So. Always remember to work on the clone. And then once you've um, created that, you can check your scene. So that's gonna show exactly where your model has been cut. And then you're going to copy those UVs that you just created and then paste them onto your new, your actual model. You can also check your scenes again. And if you hit flatten, you can get a preview of what your um, UVs will look like in 2D space. And now you can unflatten. For some reason, it does lose the paint color information, which I find a little maddening, but it's easy enough to reapply the paint color. So you just press C and fill the object. Now to export into Maya, I'm going to select my object, go down to my export options, and I'm gonna turn off um, groups. Now I'm gonna go back up to the top of my tools palette and select export and select the Maya option. So you can um, export directly into Maya and it seems to work quite well right now, so why not? And then I'm gonna start working on my next piece. So for the stitching, I'm gonna show you a slightly more complicated, um, well, complicated way about going around it, but it starts the same. So I select the object, then I work on a clone of it and it'll turn white just like that. And now um, I'm going to show a ZBrush where I would like my, um, my cuts for my UVs to go. So I'm gonna click on um, Enable Controls and Protect. And I'm gonna make sure Back Face Mask is turned on. So what that's going to do is allow me to paint this red color, which means don't create a um, don't create the UV cuts on this side of the object. And because I turned off back face mask, it's going to allow um, me to paint this red color just on the one side that's showing. That's kind of the purpose of that back face mask um, option. Okay, so now you'll see that um, when I create my um, UVs, the cut should all be on the opposite side, and so it'll be look seamless. Now the other option that I can do in this Z plugin menu is to attract cuts. So you'll see, um, just as a demo, I'm going to paint areas blue where I would like to have the cuts made. So obviously it's going to be red on one side and blue on the other. Um, 
but either option could be helpful. So if you're creating um, UVs on a face, you're going to want to make sure you mask off um, in red the face so that you don't get any UV cuts in the middle of the face. And you can also erase. So once that's done, I'm going to um, go back to my Z plugin and unwrap. There we go. And I'm going to check my seams. And so now you'll see that all of the seams for the UVs are those orange lines and they're all on the back side of these stitches. So that was well done. Then I'm going to um, flatten just to preview what my UVs look like unflatten them and then copy them, go back to my original object and paste them. And then I'm going to paste my UVs on my original piece. And notice again that my um, painting was lost. So I'm going to just quickly recolor it. If you're doing this on something like the face or an area where you have actually done individual painting, you can project your old paint to your um, new paint. Oh, I can show you that. And then I'm just um, exporting this piece, the stitches to Maya. And when I open up Maya, I can just open up the scene, just like regular scene. And um, if you can't find your file, just double check that it's looking for the right file type. Um, so I got a little confused when I saw that my model was completely green. Um, it's because it was it had a material on it that Maya wasn't recognizing. So I just opened up my stitches instead. There we go. Now it looks more normal. And now if you go to your UV editor, you'll see the UVs are perfect and imported. And then you can go ahead and render this in um, Arnold, or um, you can also retopologize it. But that's something for a later date.